It's fine though, because if we delete some stuff, we have room for more siren heads. Zombie Mounty, yes, he makes a triumphant return. Don't want to miss a video? Subscribe to the channel and stay notified. How's it going champs? We're playing Tiny Town due to popular demand. We're doing it. We're gonna build a zombie horde. It's happening. We're gonna do it over in the evil section of our town over that way. It's going down. I'm gonna build like a, let's get to it now. <laughs> I'm gonna build a hospital and we're gonna have like a good version of the hospital and an evil version of the hospital as well. It might be on the thumbnail. I haven't decided yet. So you might know what it is, but we're gonna be putting in long horse. We're also going to be fixing up one of the fire siren heads and have him coming out of the volcano because a lot of you guys actually wanted me to do that and it makes sense to do that. Fire siren head popping up out of the volcano is going to be really cool. All right, so we've got this like damaged looking hospital going on here. I'm just going to put that there just so I can get a bit of an idea about how much concrete that I have to put in. Also, the last Tiny Town video got a thousand subscribers, actually over a thousand subscribers just from that video alone. So thank you very much to everyone who subscribed. Welcome to the channel. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. We're gonna be building some more Siren Head stuff. It's going down. In the next video, I thought we would build either Zombie Siren Head or an Ice Element Siren Head. So we've got the Fire Element one, it would be cool to do an ice element one and have like, you know, ice shards and stuff like that coming out of him. I reckon we could probably build something like that. It'd look pretty amazing. So let me know in the comments which one you'd like to see me actually build. Zombie Siren Head or Ice Siren Head. Here we go. Let's chuck some more cement down just to give ourselves a little bit more space. This, uh, this whole tiny town world is starting to look pretty creepy. <laughs> it's getting a seriously creepy vibe about it. I'm not gonna lie, man. It's good though. I like creepy stuff, but oh here we go Here we go. Let's see if you guys have actually been paying attention on <laughs> On a recent video. I mentioned what my one of my favorite video game series is and it's actually it's a creepy game Let me know in the comments if you actually know what it is What's my favorite creepy video game franchise? All right, here we go. There it is. There it is. Oh, the thing about this hospital is it's actually in reverse to that one. So it doesn't, I mean, it, it it's not symmetrical, right? Oh, that's a, it's a little disappointing that it does that. Now I'm going to add long horse actually on the good side because long horse is supposed to warn people when something bad is going to happen. He like, He's like a sign of disasters, you know, about to come. Oh, we could do a water tower thing. Let's do a water tower. I don't know where water towers normally go. I'm going to put one here, though. Just a big old water tower. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Let's get another one. It's these little details that overall end up making your town look really awesome. You know what I mean? It's all the little bits, man. Oh, there's something like this I think would work pretty well. So if we got like a drain sort of thing happening here somewhere, maybe like this. I don't know if that's the right size. We might need to make it bigger. I thought this would be a cool drain to have long horse popping out of. So we'll put this one over here as well. It's gotta be mirrored, man. You gotta have these mirror images. We could have a zombie coming up out of this one. That'd be all right. Here's a zombie guy. <laughs> zombie Mountie. <laughs> the Mounties. Man, I love me a good Mountie. All right, there we go. Let's have this Mountie just climbing up out of this thing. Turn snapping off. He's like, hey, where am I? I was in the diner and then someone flushed me down the toilet and now I'm a sewer Mountie. Man, that sucks. I'm just gonna get Long Horse's neck. So I actually built this guy in Google Blocks. I've been building a lot in Google Blocks lately because you're able to do really long shapes, which you can't do in Tiny Town. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh dude, this is massive. This is massive. Okay, we need to shrink him down. We need to shrink him down. Okay, so if we have him sort of coming up out like this, right. We could probably join multiple ones together. So apparently he has like an infinite length. He can be as long as he wants to be and he can grow knuckles or like joints at will. Like if he wants to grow another joint, 
he could just grow another joint. Isn't that insane? It's actually quite creepy when you think about it. So we'll get a fence. Let's change that to snap to ground. And if we kind of go like that. Yeah, that works pretty well. Yeah, cool, man. I like that look. All right, we'll have the fence go to there. We'll build a fence going over that way. Okay, so this is actually a mechanic, so I'm just gonna put some cars and stuff here just to make it look like it's the back of a mechanics. Might even put like a, a car with some packages and stuff in it. Just like parked over this way, that's not too bad. And we'll get one more car, or maybe like a van or something like that. Yeah, we'll put a van here. Let's put a van there. That's good. Looks good. All right, we got some cars and stuff in. That looks all right. Now, this is going to be the really tricky bit because these, this guy is actually quite small than what I thought he was going to be. So doing the details is going to be really tough. But I do have like a head and some hair and stuff. So we're going to whack it on, see if we can actually get it fairly accurate. Have a look at this head. That, man. I'm, I'm actually super pumped. I'm actually really happy with how this head turned out. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. I think it looks pretty good. And we've got hair and stuff as well that we're going to stick on this guy. And then he's really going to start to look how he should. I've got a few different types of hair strands that I made. <laughs> That's right. I handmade these things. So let's put them on. I'm just going to randomly place them around. So she got quite a bit of hair all over him, which is a bit weird, but anyway. All right, place even more hair around. Just gonna randomly stick it here and there. There we go. These are the parts in Tiny Town that I find like the hardest because it's so minute, the details, and it's really tricky because the slightest movement and it like goes out of place. Let me know in the comments how you think it's looking though. I think it's looking pretty legit. Like as far as long horse goes, I don't know. Rate it out of 6,000. Let me know <laughs> how it looks. Dude, these hairs are getting pretty crazy. They're starting to bug me big time. All right, now we have it. That's him there. It's long horse. I reckon he actually looks pretty legit. I re if I was to personally rate it, I would rate it a 5,980 out of 6,000. It's not quite there, but it's pretty close. I'm gonna get this uh, this mechanic truck driver looking guy. Let's turn off snapping. And this dude's gonna be like freaking out. He's freaking out big time. He's just like, no, no. I don't know what this thing is, but don't eat me. Don't eat me, skeleton noodle dog. All right, his hammer's fallen down. He doesn't look very scared. Let's put him bend his leg up like that. <laughs> there we go. His hammer's gone flying. <laughs> look at the look on his face. He's freaking out. He actually looks quite angry. He doesn't look scared at all. But he is warning. Long horse is warning this guy of some terrible things to come. And by terrible things, I mean all the crap going on over here. That's right. This place is spooky, man. It is Spooksville. Let's get some zombies. Zombie horde time. So I've had a few people ask me to stick in some other Trevor Henderson creations like Big Charlie and I think like Breaking News as well. We might do one of those. If you, you know, if you want me to stick in some of those, let me know in the comments below. I'll have a look and I might build some more. I initially wasn't going to turn this tiny town world into like an SCP and Trevor Henderson monster kind of world, but you guys seem to be enjoying it. So I think we should sort of run with it. And then every once in a while, we can do some non-SCP stuff. So there would probably be some zombie hospital guys. I don't know if there's no zombie hospital guys. Okay, what do we have? We've got zombie businessmen. We'll just have them all breaking out of the emergency. Who cares? Let's put all these dudes in. I'm gonna clone a couple of them because we've only got so many. Uh, ground snapping. There we go. Okay. There's gonna be quite a few of these guys. I'm just gonna try and space them apart a little bit. The hardest part of this is like posing them all. <laughs> Cause you, you create like 60 dudes and then all of a sudden you have to pose them. Otherwise they just stand there like this. They're not even T posing. They're like I posing. What's this guy? How is that a survivor? It's a football man. All right, we've got a firefighter. Doesn't look like he's firefight fighting fires anymore. <laughs> That's hard to say. All right, there we go. Let's put him out there. Man, there's loads of zombies. 
The th oh, footy man. The zombie footy man. Hey, they kind of look like a nurse, but it's an se airport security guard. Oh, zombie mounty. Yes. He makes a triumphant return. There we go, champ. Let's get him out there. Let's get a couple of them. Oh, there we have it. My back. I was like standing in a really weird position and now my back hurts. All right, I'm going to put their arms up in like regular zombie fashion. There we go. I'm going to pose... Not all of them today, but a fair chunk. There we go. They're all doing the typical zombie thing. Sort of. I'll do some of them a little bit different. If I can pose 20 every time I play the game, I'd be done by the end of the year, maybe. Oh, we should totally have some zombies eating a dude. All right, yeah, yeah. Let's put him on the ground. Have his arms out like this. And then a few zombies just on top of him, just munching down on a bit of human. Here we go. Let's get this guy. He's having a good feed. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and then we'll have these guys over here, probably with guns or like flamethrowers or something like that. Getting ready to burn some zombies. Uh, where's my flamethrower? I swear I've got a flamethrower here somewhere. We've got the infinity gauntlet. We could have... Infinity zombie, look at this guy. It's Thanos zombie. <laughs> look at this dude. Man, this guy's about ready to snap everybody's brain. Yeah, awesome. Look at that. They're there ready to burn the zombies. That is pretty cool. All right, I've got some of the zombies in zombie pose. <laughs> There's so many more to do. Oh my god. Okay, but that's a good start to the zombie horde. If there's anything else you want to see me add to the zombie horde, let me know in the comments and I'll go ahead and I'll add it in. But dude, that is a lot of zombies to get through, but I think it's a great start. I don't know what to, like, what else to stick on the good side, though. We'll stick something. <laughs> that's so awesome. All right, let's go over here. Now, I'm going to take out one of these fire siren heads. I'm going to do it. I'm gonna do it. He's going. See you later, champ. Because you're taking up too much valuable space. Ugh, there we go. The game just starts to slow down as soon as I go over here. Because there's so much detail in these siren heads. I realize some of you always get disappointed <laughs> when I start deleting, like, you know, creations and stuff. But unfortunately, this game is, like, really limited to how much things you can actually fit in it before it starts to really slow down. So, we have to do it. I'm so sorry. All right, there we go. There we go. It's fine though, because if we delete some stuff, we have room for more siren heads. Nice, and we can have this dude coming up out of the volcano. Awesome. All right, put his arms like that. We'll still have him shooting some fireballs down at Mega Siren Head though. I had an idea with all of these siren head parts that I have, I could create some kind of arachnid siren head, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, like eight arms and... Pff, geez, we could have so many heads. Awesome, awesome. Okay, hang on. If I lean him forward like this a little bit, then we could have him shooting the fireballs right down. There we go. Nice, and we'll get... A nice sizable fireball heading towards this dude yeah that's good that is good it's going straight for him you're about to get smashed with a fireball dude what are you gonna do about it so like I said before let me know in the comments whether you'd like to see me build zombie siren head next or whether we should build ice element siren head both are gonna be equally awesome I think but yeah we'll put the zombie one over like the back here I think he would look really cool right behind this hospital just like poking right up maybe around this height and we'll make him all green and zombified and maybe put some more blood around his mouth and stuff like that or some green crap we'll see what happens but thank you very much for watching this video if you liked it give us one of these ones i'll see you guys next time